We had a power outage yesterday, so I was unable to make a video. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. The news has been so dry for a while now, so it wouldn't have been anything too interesting had I actually made a video. Today we have a few small bits of news though, but again, it's nothing too crazy. First, according to Atlanta Filming, Agatha House of Harkness is set to film in the UK, but they don't currently have a schedule yet. So it's pretty likely that we don't see the show till sometime in late 2023 or 2024, with Echo, Loki Season 2, probably Secret Invasion, and most likely What If Season 3, as I don't see them stopping with What If after Season 2, all coming out next year, a fall or winter 2022 film date for House of Harkness would make sense. Next, D23 will take place this year on September 10th and is where Marvel will reveal upcoming movies and shows. It's heavily rumored that one of the projects they announce will be Nova, but according to Great Phase, it will be a Disney Plus show instead of an actual movie. I would of course prefer that big important characters get movies instead of Disney Plus shows like most of you probably do, as the shows haven't been as strong as the movies. But like with Wanda, it's possible that Nova starts off in a show format and moves on to a movie later on. It was also said before that Marvel Studios wants to introduce both Richard Rider and Sam Alexander into the MCU and have them both be Nova alongside each other. They would have Sam focus on street level threats alongside characters like Daredevil and Spider-Man and that Ryder would focus more on the cosmic side with Captain Marvel and the Guardians. So it's possible that a Disney Plus show sets them both up, but focuses more on Sam Alexander, and then a movie fleshes out Richard Ryder and connects him to the cosmic side of the MCU. Moving on, according to Christopher Mark over at the Ronin News, 20th Century Fox will still be involved with Deadpool 3, and so this could mean that we'll see previous X-Men characters return, and like I've said before, the MCU is setting up all the pieces needed for a Deadpool Kills the Fox Universe movie. So Fox being involved could confirm that this is in fact happening. And lastly, Sony has confirmed that Spider-Man No Way Home will be re-released in theaters on September 2nd, and will include 5 new or extended scenes, with tickets going on sale on August 9th. The scenes will total 15 extra minutes of content and include an extended version of the interrogation scene, Peter's Day at Midtown High, an Undercroft montage, Happy's Very Good Lawyer, which could connect to and set up either Armor Wars or the Daredevil Disney Plus show, and the Spider-Man hanging out. To date, the movie has made $1.9 billion worldwide, and this re-release is Sony's plan to push it over $2 billion, making it the sixth movie ever to gross more than $2 billion. But let me know what you guys think about all this. What other projects do you think we'll see at D23? What do you think of Nova being a Disney Plus show, at least initially? And are you going to go rewatch Spider-Man No Way Home on September 2nd to watch the new and extended scenes? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you will never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.